Alright, uh, hey YouTube, it's DarkShock124 and this is the fifth part of my multi-part tutorial. Now, I bet some of you are going, um, alright, what's going on? There's no part four. Basically, part four is, um, it's basically Lakey's video on how to get Sony Vegas Pro 9. Um, Yeah, basically I'm just kicking off from there and I'm going to show you my HD render settings for Vegas. So basically after you've recorded your video in um, Pinnacle Studio, depending on where you've set it to save, you'll have a, a video file. I save like every one of my videos in here. So, um... Like here's this, oh, it's just the intro, which I've already added into it. So you're just gonna drag it in here. You wanna do any editing you've got? I oh, know this is the same as my old one, but you know, fuck it. I tried to make a new one yesterday, but it really didn't work. Um, now you're gonna click this button here when you're all done. It's render as, and you're gonna click custom here. Now I'm gonna zoom in on those settings, and you're just gonna make a new one. Just call it YouTube widescreen HD 1080p and you want to include audio the mode is CBR the format's Windows Media Audio 9.2 attributes is 192 kbps 48kHz stereo AV CBR under the video tab mode is CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size you want to set this to custom and you want to write in 1920 by 1080 pixel aspect ratio to 1 frame rate is 30 and seconds per keyframe is 5 you want to overwrite default compression buffer in seconds and type in 8 and slide video smoothness right up to 100 now under bitrate we got you just want to tick internet slash LAN and type in 8M if it's not already in there. Um, in index summary, I don't even have an index file, so just, you don't need to worry about that unless you want to put some kind of copyright on your video, like if you're uploading it to a file sharing website. And in the project thing, you just want to click video rendering quality best. Um, so you just want to click OK there and then in the template it should be available and you just want to use this one all the time so it's like better than having to keep doing it and you just want to save your file here I've already rendered this one um, depending on the length of your video it could take up to like two hours because it's the highest quality you can get pretty much so here's the like, finished one of that That took a, that only took about 30 seconds to um, render, but then again, it's only a eight-second video. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Darkshock124. Thanks for listening.